Welcome to the Jay Tyner Show, where we discuss all things wealth management and retirement planning. And as always, the goal of our team here at Semax Financial Group is to help you focus more on your life and less on your money. Now, as a reminder, check with your current advisor, planner, CPA, and read our disclosure in the video description below. Subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date on all of our new content. And by the way, if you have questions or need a 15-minute free consultation, please visit Semax.com or call 336-856-0080. Hello and welcome. My name is Matt Landon. I'm joined by Michael Sellers. We are both CFPs and advisors here with Semax Financial Group. Now, today we're going to be talking about retirement income. There's a lot of folks that are growing increasingly concerned in retirement that they're not going to have the income they need to sustain Mm -hmm. their lifestyle throughout their their course of retirement. Now, number one here, I would say that uh, the first thing is this is the first generation where over half of the folks that are in retirement or stepping into retirement do not have a pension. So we've crossed over that 50% threshold where more than half do not have a pension. Now, in the past, you work for a company, they would put money into a pension, then you're getting income in retirement. Now, more folks than don't are relying on 401ks or their own savings in order to create their retirement income. This is going to have a significant impact on that retirement plan. Moving forward, I think it's increasingly important to have your own plan because you can't count on the company to give you those paychecks. Now, number two, what's what's the second thing we want to go over? Here? Yeah, to, to go along with that point, compounding that issue is more and more people are just the demographic demographics of the, the country. That's uh, going to be peak 65 next year, meaning more people are turning 65 next year every day than all previous years. So uh, it, it's the, the, the demographics uh, are showing that, hey, more and more people don't have a pension and more and more people are retiring. So so not only are there more people retiring, less of them have a pension. And so right. it's just kind of a compounding issue. <laughs> now, uh, along with that, we're, we're seeing that this is a study that came out recently. There was a survey that was done. It said 32% of people are not confident they're going to have enough money in retirement to cover basic monthly expenses. are retired currently or retired previously have gone back to work in some fashion or capacity, right? And 51% of consumers between the ages of 45 and 75 feel like they don't have enough retirement savings to last their lifetime. Now, I'm going to speak anecdotally here for just one moment. I sat down with a gentleman who was saying, I don't think I can ever afford to retire. Well, when we went through his analysis, when we went through his statements, when we went through the whole plan, we actually put together a plan where he was able to retire right then and there and create the income he was looking for. I think there are folks that do not have enough to save for retirement and they're aware of it. But there's a lot of folks, and this is the category you may fall into, where you have saved, you've put money into those retirement plans, but you're not sure how to pull it together and you don't know, how can I make this last for me? How do I invest this? How do I pull it together? So with that said, uh, there's a lot of people that are that are looking for protection. There's a lot of people that are looking for alternatives and people are turning towards annuities more and more frequently. And that's that's our that's our fourth point, which is around right. annuities. And we've done a separate video on them, but why don't you give us a, a, a real brief snippet on annuities? Well, a lot of it is, um, you know, annuities provide that personal pension. So the pension that employers no longer offer, it's a way to guarantee an additional source of income in retirement, along with Social Security, um, maybe some old annuities that you might have in the past. Um, And it's just a a way to protect uh, your lifestyle and the, the lifetime income Uh, opportunities that you would have with it by adding that extra layer of protection. Now, the thing that I would say to that is there's three different types, fixed, fixed index, variable. You need to know the differences. You need to know how they work, how they come into play, because the key thing here is, is our, 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 our kind of wrap up point, if you will. I don't know if you want to call it point number five, or if you want to call it our, our conclusion here is when, when you're stepping into retirement, you need above and beyond anything else. You need an income plan. You need some kind of concrete plan showing you where you're going to create that cash flow, because as we've seen, more folks than not are stepping into retirement without a pension. That number of folks stepping into retirement is continuing to increase. And that confidence level, I would love to see 100% of people say confidently, I know I can walk into retirement and, and I'm, I know where my income is going to come from. I feel comfortable. 31% is a very far cry from 100 
Right. With that in mind, you need diversification, right? So you want to be diversified. And and why don't you lay out a, a hypothetical income plan for, for somebody? So somebody who's stepping in retirement going, where do I start? What are some of the big things you want to consider or pull together? Right. Right. Well, first of all, you need to, of course, have a budget just like you do when you're working um, in retirement, your budget might shift a little bit. Some things are going to be more expensive. Others will be less. Um, typically, about 80 percent of your your normal income of what you're used to. That's probably about the amount you'll need in retirement. Um, and stepping into that, to uh, looking at how that's going to apply to your portfolio and creating an income plan. You know, maybe if you're you're conservative and you just don't want to run out of money and you want to have things set up evenly, you might say a third's going to come from Social Security, a third's going to come from an annuity type personal pension. Uh, and then the other third is going to be in the market and liquid and available. Now, of course, it's going to range. There's going to be differences for everyone. Some people are not going to have any kind of pension. They're not going to have any kind of annuity. Other people might rely on that for a larger percentage of their retirement. You know, some people, unfortunately, all they have is social security, right? And, and if you're in that case, it's unfortunate. But for those that are not and have additional resources, I find there's a lot of worry and concern around retirement income. Am I going to have enough? Am I going to be able to do this? That are completely founded from the sense of there's a lack of knowledge around it, but they're not necessary. And that's where I think putting together a concrete plan, pulling it all together can alleviate a lot of those concerns. Now, if you if you fall into that camp where you're saying, I don't have a pension, or maybe I do, and I don't know the best way to take it, mm-hmm. right? But uh, you're looking at it and you have questions, you have concerns, feel free to reach out to us. We're glad to answer those and address them for you. Uh, we'll be doing more videos where we'll do a deep dive. We've done some do where we do a deep dive into pensions. We've done others around annuities. Uh, we, we've got a whole catalog here built out. We're continuing to produce more videos for you and more content. Content. I hope this has been beneficial. But uh, on behalf of the whole Semax family, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.